heard things saying like, well, generate like the millennials, which would be more me, I'm 29. Uh, we like clean, organized, uh, beautiful looking, like when Instagram started, right? Like that was us. Uh, we wanted clean, beautiful, like high, excellent, everything that you would associate with that, uh, highly produced, those sorts of things. Uh, and then uh, you hear things like, well, Generation Z likes things messy. They, like, they don't like the organization as kind of like a little bit of a rebellion. But what I'm hearing you say is that is maybe an idea of what we've read a book or two, right? And we think that's what they want. So maybe getting really practical, what, maybe what would be an example or two examples of something specific that you changed that you saw uh, the engagement start to increase? Uh, and then I have another question off the back of that. But yeah, what, maybe what were some of those really specific things that you did? Even just something that I did today that I posted on Instagram today was I took a picture from worship from last week and I um, went into the Bible app and I took a screenshot of a verse. I cut out the black around it and I just overlaid that onto the worship picture. Um, and for the students that was, they associate with the people, the students who read their Bible app, see that they notice where that comes from. Um, and in the caption, I put just um, a, a song from one of the worship sets that were sung, sung last week. So for them, like they can relate with that. They sang the song on a Wednesday night. Um, it's a psalm. So it's super motivational. It's um, easy to relate with um, versus me doing something, I don't know, like, plastering lyrics everywhere or um it being neon or whatever it is or me just handwriting things all over it or scribbling around it um that the simple thing of them relating that verse to worship and then reading the caption of the song lyrics um especially in the morning kind of like starting your day off motivated um which is kind of what we're going for yeah yeah i think that's, that's um, good josh go ahead I'll touch on that too. Like Tommy hit it right on the spot of like bringing it back to the basics of, yeah, we're not trying to like, as much as we think that a motivational speaker or pastor has this amazing quote, like the Bible and scripture has just as much power. And that's just the whole nature of it is like the whole, the, the word is the Holy spirit and, you know, is like, has this power in it, you know? So if you post that, like, not to say that it's going to do like overly well and get a thousand and a million likes, but like, just the nature of it will touch someone more than um, that motivational quote, you know. So it's never, never bad to use a psalm or a proverb or, you know, Bible scripture. 